Watch. Eminem. Snoop Dogg. Hey Mickey. Before the Los Angeles Rams faced off against the Cincinnati Bengals in Super Bowl 56, Mickey Guyton shook Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, Calif. With a powerhouse performance of the national anthem. Taking the field on Sunday, February 13, the 38-year-old country singer belted out the The Star Spangled Banner as she wore a stunning long sleeve, floor length blue gown. This is what it's all about, she wrote on Twitter ahead of her performance. I am so honored and grateful to be able to sing the national anthem today. With this incredible group of people, Mickey's big moment took place ahead of the game's highly anticipated halftime show featuring Kendrick Lamar, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige and Eminem. The Super Bowl pregame entertainment also featured Janae Iko singing America the Beautiful, Mary Mary doing Lift Every Voice and Sing with Yola and Zed serving as the pregame DJ. Mickey has previously said that watching Leanne Rimes perform the Star Spangled Banner before a baseball game was a significant inspiration behind her own decision to pursue country music, Rolling Stone notes. The Texas native Super Bowl appearance comes hot on the heels of her triumphant debut at the American Music Awards where she wowed the crowd performing her single All-American. No matter where you're from, your race, your creed, who you love, you're all American, she told the crowd in November. Remember that, Mickey made history at the 2021 Grammy Awards becoming the first black woman to ever be nominated in the Best Country Solo Performance category for her groundbreaking ballad Black Like Me. Just days before her Super Bowl performance, Mickey responded to criticism over how she landed the coveted gig. In a screenshot of a comment she had received on Instagram in February 9th, a user accused the singer of only getting the job because she's black and she's female. No other reason, the message read. She's not known for her music. She, sick, just known as the black woman in country music. That's her claim to fame. Mickey clapped back in the caption, writing, This is what I see in my mentions on a daily basis. It never stops. But guess what? I will never stop. Keep scrolling to revisit some of the other most memorable Super Bowl national anthem performances ever. Eric Church. For 2021, Super Bowl 55 brought together the country crooner and R. Whitney Houston. The New York Giants might be won 1991 Super Bowl 25, but Whitney Houston was the standout star to many fans. Her rendition of the national anthem backed by the Florida Orchestra is one of the most iconic Super Bowl performances of all time. It even reached number 20 on Billboard's Hot 100 list. Natalie Cole. In 1994, Natalie Cole appeared at Super Bowl 28 alongside the Atlanta University Center Chorus to sing the national anthem. Luther Vandross. When Super Bowl 31 took over New Orleans in 1997, the R. Schwarz Wright accompanied him by doing sign language for the song. Share. In 1999, the Believe singer belted out the Star Spangled Banner at Super Bowl 33 in Miami and were shocked she hasn't made this a regular gig. Faith Hill. Faith Hill performed the national anthem at Super Bowl 34 in 2000 at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. Next time we vote for Hill teaming up with her husband Tim. McGraw for a Super Bowl performance we'd never forget. Backstreet Boys. The Backstreet Boys sang the national anthem in perfect harmony at Super Bowl 35 in 2001 in Tampa, Florida. Mariah Carey. In 2002, the We Belong Together singer performed the national anthem at Super Bowl 36 in New Orleans. The Dixie Chicks. The Dixie Chicks took the field in 2003 to perform the national anthem at Super Bowl 37 in San Diego and it was totally empowering to watch. Beyoncé. In 2004, Beyoncé performed at Super Bowl 38 in her hometown of Houston making the event even more memorable. U.S. Armed Forces Academy Choruses. In 2005, at Super Bowl 39, the national anthem was performed by the combined choirs of the United States Naval Academy, United States Air Force Academy, United States Military Academy at West Point, United States Coast Guard Academy, accompanied by the United States Army Herald Trumpets, Aretha Franklin and Aaron Neville. Aretha Franklin and Aaron Neville both demanded our respect when they performed at the 2006 Super Bowl in Detroit.
Billy Joel, the piano man himself sang the national anthem at the 2007 Super Bowl in Miami and not many have been able to achieve his flawless execution level while singing this song. Jennifer Hudson, former American Idol star Jennifer Hudson performed at the Super Bowl in 2009 in Tampa, Florida. Carrie Underwood, in 2010, Carrie Underwood sang the national anthem at the Super Bowl in Miami and she shined in her white and silver outfit. Christina Aguilera, Christina Aguilera belted it out as she performed at the 2011 Super Bowl in Arlington, Texas. Kelly Clarkson, in 2012, Kelly Clarkson took the field to perform the national anthem in Indiana and if you didn't think she had a killer voice before she took the stage, you definitely knew it after she was finished. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys brought her legendary voice and her trusty piano to the 2013 Super Bowl in New Orleans. Adina Menzel. Frozen star Adina Menzel sang at Super Bowl 49 in Glendale, Arizona in 2015 and she definitely let it go. Lady Gaga. Leave it to Lady Gaga to take over the historic Super Bowl 50 stage and slay it in an epic Americana ensemble as she sang the national anthem in 2016 in Santa Clara, Caliph, Luke Bryan. In 2017, country superstar Luke Bryan took the field to perform at Super Bowl 51 in Houston, Texas. Pink. The So What singer wowed the crowd as she took to the field to perform during the 2018 Super Bowl in Minneapolis. Pink was actually battling the flu during her performance but was still able to deliver a legendary rendition. Gladys Knight. The iconic artist gave us chills with her beautiful rendition of the national anthem during the 2019 Super Bowl in Atlanta. Demi Lovato. In 2020, Demi took to the field at the Hard Rock Stadium to perform the Star Spangled Banner. For her performance, which earned rave reviews, Lovato donned a white Sergio Hudson pantsuit complete with a belt.